Hello, Andrew Reby here to talk to you, once again, about the new features of Cabinet Vision. In this episode, we will be discussing the new features found in the assembly level of Cabinet Vision 2012 R2. The first thing we need to do is get to the assembly level to see these new features. Excellent. The first thing I want to go over is the new drawer clearances properties that we added. In previous versions, when changing the drawer clearances, it was an all or nothing kind of thing. With Cabinet Vision 2012 R2, we can, well, let me show you. First, we need to select the drawer, then we need to scroll down, and now you can see that we have the left and right clearances that we can set separately. So if you need more space on one side, you can just specify it right here. Now, don't confuse this with the drawer front overlays or reveals. This is specifically for the drawer box itself. The next feature is found in the Reports tab, so let's go over to that. Those of you familiar with this section of the assembly level aren't going to notice any changes, and there aren't any visual changes. What we did here was add a nice little right-click feature to the parts list. So, beginning with Cabinet Vision 2012 R2, we can edit parts and their properties directly from the parts list on the Reports tab. Thank you for taking the time to view this demonstration. If you would like more information on Cabinet Vision Solid, please feel free to visit the Cabinet Vision website at www.cabinetvision.com.